Dr. Ken Atwater, president of the great Hillsborough Community College, and we are here today to uh, make sure that everyone is aware of the looming cuts to students and education uh, based upon the budget wars going on in Washington right now. Uh, the, the, the looming cuts to students and education are going are proposed to be very severe under the the newly passed GOP budget. I serve on the House Budget Committee, and uh, three weeks ago, the GOP forced through a budget that uh, passed the House of Representatives that provides a very uh, difficult situation for families across the Tampa Bay area. And what it does, it says. Uh, for students and families and educators all across the country, uh, when opportunity knocks, the GOP is not going to answer. Uh, in fact, they are poised to do great damage to our public schools, our community colleges and universities, and really to our entire economic recovery. It will be more difficult for our public schools, our community colleges and universities to provide the education that's needed to grow the economy and rebuild the middle class. And this is vitally important for the Tampa Bay area because we're a college town. Uh, when you consider uh, how many students at the uh, Hillsborough Community College, along with St. Pete College, uh, the University of Tampa, the University of South Florida, uh, the fact that our the Hillsborough County Public Schools is the ninth largest public school district in the entire country, uh, when they propose uh, drastic cuts on, on uh, public education, that means lost jobs and lost opportunities for our community. We simply cannot uh, bear that burden. Uh, there are choices to be made. The GOP should not uh, choose to spend on special interest tax breaks instead of public education. There are important choices to be made. Now here specifically is the impact uh, that is likely to come about. Uh, drastic cuts in the Pell Grant for students, that is the lifeline for their opportunity to attend uh, college. Uh, work study opportunities uh, will be substantially decreased, and Angel will talk about that as someone that relies on the Pell Grant and work study. Uh, we anticipate that many schools throughout our hardworking neighborhoods, the Title I schools, and students with special, special needs will leave, lose resources and services. Uh, that will be devastating for many families and teachers that will uh, lose their jobs. And many of our youngest uh, children throughout the Tampa Bay area will not be able to access Head Start. Head Start is that uh, early education, early learning program that uh, is very successful, that gives our kids a real Head Start in life. Overall, what this does, it will be uh, very devastating to, to families and uh, to put a face on the real world impact of these looming cuts, I've asked uh, Dr. Ken Atwater and Angel to, to explain what that means uh, to students here uh, and for Angel person. Dr. Atwater? Well, good morning and thank you, Congresswoman. At ACC here, our Title IV aid, we do about $100 million a year in Title IV aid to our students. About $54 million of that is Pell. The proposed cuts that are being proposed in the Pell Grant Program will have a tremendous impact on the accessibility for people to come to ACC here. We have nearly 18,000 students that are receiving some type of financial assistance. Proposed cuts in relationship to reducing the eligibility requirement from $33,000 to $23,000 will it exclude a number of families, a number of kids coming to us. One of the things we do know that financial barriers are one of the biggest barriers that prevent people from pursuing higher education. And as the Congresswoman said, higher education has a positive impact to the economic health of all of us. And as you know, there are several initiatives now going on to support higher education and support completion. Graduate Tampa Bay, for example, is the CEO of the City Initiative that's talking about economic impact that has, a, and the way you impact that is basically by increasing the number of people holding college degrees. We depend, and our students depend, on Pell and Title IV aid. Redu reduction in those areas will have tremendous impact on the ability for our students to access HCC. 
As I said earlier, our average award in our pill allowance is around 3,200 bucks. And hopefully, hopefully, there are better ways and other opportunities to think about doing things as we try to balance this budget in these tight times. I think you'll see that very evident as you talk to Angel and he shares with you his experience of how Pell in Title IV has allowed him to pursue his degree in pre-med. Angel? Thank you, sir. How are you guys doing today? My name is Angel Anchundia. I'd like to talk to you about what's going on today. Uh, personally, myself, I am a student ambassador and I am also working as a work study here in the financial aid office as well. Today, I'm talking about the Pell Grant. Without the Pell Grant, literally, I wouldn't be in school right now. I would actually be working, actually helping out my parents and my family without this program. This program has helped me tremendously. It made me come to school, made me achieve my careers and my goals that I actually wanted to become. And so far, I'm doing very good. Hopefully next year, I'll be at USF, continuing my experience and my career. Without this program, like I said, I wouldn't really be in school right now. And I'm sure it affects a lot of other students as well that I've seen here that without this Pell Grant, we wouldn't be achieving our goals. We'd be outside working, trying to help our families, raise, if people got kids as well, they're trying to raise their kids as well. And with the work study, it helps us become better and help families while still doing our career as well here. And I'd like to appreciate if we, if we keep having the Pell Grant here, not reducing it from 32 to 23 of the income, but actually just reducing about the Pell Grant a little bit less, not 55,000, uh, 5,500, but to 45, 4,600 dollars. Per year for the public. That's what I was like talking about. Well, thank you very much. Now, Angel has highlighted the fact that we've made great progress over the past few years. The maximum Pell Grant award is over five thousand dollars. That makes a real difference uh, in the ability of our families across the Tampa Bay area to attend college. And as Dr. Atwater said, the average award here at HCC is thirty-two hundred dollars. If you, when you cut that back. As Angel said, you eliminate the opportunity for thousands and thousands of students all across the country uh, to achieve the American dream, to attend college and get a good degree and ultimately a good paying job. And that's the, that really should be the basis of the economic recovery, creating jobs uh, and not moving backwards. That's why as we go into the, into the budget battles in Washington over the next few weeks, uh, you can count on me to stand up for students and families all across the Tampa Bay area, but we need to get the word out. If this is important to you, if it matters to your family, uh, your students, uh, you also need to speak out and, and stand strong for investments in education and talented young people like Angel. Thank you very much for being here. I know uh, Angel, Dr. Atwater, and I would be happy to answer any questions.